love about you? It's your boy. I'm a pro. Tell I make my walking go. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Forza Motorsport 7 video or the demo. It's your boy Vortex Chaos and today we are going to be doing the final video on the final car on the final track in the rain. Uh, well now at least I'm doing the 2015 Nissan Nismo Autec GTR, which is the GT3 one or GT2, I don't know, one or the other. I'm excited for this, I haven't really driven in the rain just yet, so that should be interesting. Uh, if you guys missed out on the last two videos, I raced around these two, uh, the Porsche at Dubai and the Benz at Mugello. Uh, I did pretty well in those two races, let's hope I can carry that on to this race. But, I mean, yeah, let's just see how this goes. I mean, danger looms in the Nissan GTR as you battle your way, th battle your way through a raging storm on Nürburgring GP. So what is in the North Life for? It is the GP circuit. However, I'm still excited for it because I've... I don't know. I'm just excited for it. I mean, this track does look pretty menacing, especially in the trailers. Like the gameplay trailers and all this. Like, the rain looks crazy this time around. Doesn't seem to be as many... Oh, well, here we go again. Look, there's like different ones now. Astronaut Modern. That's interesting. Real McCoy. Team Forza Teal. They seem to have a lot of these Team Forza ones in different colors. Yukio Takagi. I don't know what or who that is, but I will do some research later. Uh, they seem to have one for every track as well, which is pretty cool. Parada, 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 pink? I don't know. Vintage Racing Light Blue. They have a lot of these racing ones as well. I'm probably still going to go for this one just because, well, it looks the most professional. So, I mean, let's just see how this goes. Uh, assist, let me just make sure this is all good, because... And then drive type difficulty, this changes for some reason. I want to go higher than this, but I can't, so it's annoying as hell. Um, during all this, like, as the game is loading, you can actually go in and, like... Well, I mentioned this in the last two videos as well, but you can actually go in and tune your car and upgrade it, if you want to, whilst this is loading up, because, well, it takes a while to load up this time around. Um, it's probably gonna load up quicker on the Xbox One X and it's a newer console and whatnot, but we're gonna have to wait and see for that. I'm just scared about online because if this is how it is for single player, I don't know how it's gonna be for multiplayer. Um, because it's taken this long to load a single player game, which I don't know. And I'm pretty sure right now it's loading in like all the rain and all this. Okay, well, we're at the Nurburgring. Everything is done. I don't know why there's mixed missing boxes and everything. There we go. Alright. Let's start up the final video on the demo before the full game comes out. God damn. I think I'm going to race in third person this time around. I just crashed straight into the back of him. You know what? I'm gonna wait, let everyone go past, and then try and do something about that. Alright, let's see what we can do. We're at the very, very back. This thing is amazing at handling. Oh my god. Nothing really comes close to this car. Uh, the thing with the friction thing is that, well, you can literally cut every corner without a single, like, issue. Like, without a single thing going wrong, like, the, you know, the friction on the road doesn't change. It's like you're still driving on the normal pavement. I don't know, I personally don't like that. I know they will be getting rid of that for the multiplayer. Because, well, it wouldn't make sense to have that on multiplayer than have people, like, just crashing into you endlessly. So, I mean, I'm excited for this game. Uh, it definitely is easier to keep your car stable and in a straight line, but, well, it's Forza, so there's going to be noobs, obviously. I am stuck. Uh, there doesn't seem to be many puddles as well. Uh, this rain is definitely very, very terrifying, I'll admit. This McLaren's in my way, can't do anything about that. My car's getting a little slidey. That Porsche looks so cool up there with the wide arches and all this. Oh, that's a Jag. Wait, what? They brought that thing back? I didn't know that. Oh, I feel like an idiot now. Whoa, okay, okay, that's not going too, too well. Oh, doesn't seem like I'm the only one, alright. Whoa, what the f- Okay, I didn't, didn't, didn't think that was going to happen. That kind of just shook me there, didn't expect that at all. 
Whoa. This is ridiculous. Holy shit. Okay, for God it's rain, the brakes aren't gonna be as good. Alright, so I'm gonna have to brake earlier than this says I have to. God damn, this is crazy. Come on. Oh, the puddles don't seem to be the cr that crazy this time around. Like they were in the last game, where, like you would hit them and you'd go like flying off. This time it's a little more subtle. I do definitely enjoy that a lot more. That's a big dive up the inside there on the Mercedes. I mean, obviously there's still puddles. You can't have rain without any puddles. Oh god, okay. I'm only in 16th, that's... I mean, I know over an endurance race, I know I would be doing way better than this. Like a much longer, lengthier race. Like, I know I would definitely be doing, like, I'd be way up there by now. Obviously, because I went right to the back. Now I'm halfway up the, well, bit past halfway. No, actually, no, I'm not halfway yet. Oh, God, okay. This thing does get a little slidey. Caution ahead, something happened. Oh, somebody went off. I like that. That's pretty, that's a nice feature they added in. Oh, just take a few positions there. Now I'm halfway up the grid. Good. Lorraine seems to be just as crazy now. This puddle is still here. That doesn't, doesn't seem to change. But like, normally in Forza 6, that puddle would launch you sideways. But now it's a little more subtle, I guess. I don't know. I can still follow my normal racing line through here, I guess. If I turn in a little sooner than that. But this rain is definitely much more intense than it was in the last game, though. Like, god damn, this is ridiculous. I'm probably going to do a second race in this, but without, well, stopping to the back. And probably in cockpit view as well. Uh, let's see if I can try and take back one position, one more position, so I'm not just stuck halfway. Oh god. Okay. No, I messed up! Okay, well there goes my opportunity on taking one more position. I'm just gonna have to try and defend, Jesus. Oh, this time M. Rossi didn't finish first. I don't know if he's actually in the race or not, but like, damn, alright. Back for Elite Apex and go! Oh, that looks so nice! Can I take like, is there like a fruit emoji yet? Nope, oh, okay. This is just a beautiful game. Like, God damn, man, this game is just so nice. <sighs> I'm excited. Wow, that was a. That wasn't very. That was a very distant victory for there for Jay Davis. M. Rossi didn't really put up a fight this time around. That's interesting. Especially considering he's in the highest level car here. That's interesting. Um, anyways, I'm probably not going to do a third race. Here it is again. The same thing again. Come on now, man. I don't want to see this every time I do this. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much going to do it all for the third video and the final video on the demo. I am so unbelievably excited for this game. It's unreal. I'm hoping it goes well. I don't really have any doubts anymore, really. I mean, judging by how that played. That was fun. But, yeah, that's pretty much going to do it all for me. And peace out.